All right, my dudes, what is up? I'm PDFTCG, and today we are going to be opening two packs of Wrath of Cores, Legends of the Cosmos, and two packs of, uh, I just messed all that up. Oh, God. We're opening two packs of Chaos Galaxy, Legends of the Cosmos. I'm pretty sure I said Wrath of Cores, Legends of the Cosmos. And two packs of Wrath of Cores, uh, Good versus Evil. Um, so I did a video exactly like this last week you might have noticed you got in a video last week the video uh, got messed up so I'm gonna s I didn't realize at first it had been messed up I didn't get know until I uh, went to post it that it like didn't record right so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna see at the end of this video I might have a little bit where I show what I got from those packs um, but yeah that that video doesn't actually exist so we are uh, <laughs> we're down two packs of chaos galaxy and two packs of wrath of course from that um had fairly decent pulls but um i think i'm gonna go like wrath of course chaos galaxy wrath of course seems good um but yeah we we just that video just turned out it didn't exist and i didn't realize it until i went to post it uh or went to edit it rather which editing for these isn't a tremendous amount of time but I went to edit it and then it didn't exist and then I was like oh guess we're not doing a video this week so uh all right right off the bat we got one of our rares we got Oak of the Old that's a uh it's a pretty decent card I think um demonic armor it's fine uh pretty solid uncommon solid removal alert tower uh crystal ball yeah uh arid worm it's okay uh, Obelisk of War is okay. Um, we're really looking for like the Mage Sisters out of this, and an Alto would also be uh, would be rather nice. I um, somehow have not gotten an Alto yet, which seems just basically a good a, a Glare Crystal Ball. That's what that's what we were hoping for, uh, Elixir. But um, yeah, we've been looking for an Alto, and we've been looking for. Um, some of the Mage Sisters, mostly just to finish out play sets. But, uh, yeah, haven't been that successful with that. Um, in these, we're looking for Pelfams. And I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. I did not pull any Pelfams in the other two packs. And we have four more packs after this. And, uh, yeah, I'm just mangling these packs. Okay. We have four more uh, packs of Chaos Galaxy after these. So hopefully somewhere in there we can get some pretty Pelfams. Uh, starting off with a Nature Knight, Arrow Knight, sure. Deep Space Checkpoint, okay. Zenza, what, what, 150, eh, eh, eh. Desert Dancer, got a double-sided spear. Uh, pretty Drangel, that's that's okay. Um, I think Drangel's reasonably playable. Real Hex Mine's pretty playable. Uh, Galacta Helm is eh. Golden Chalice, Cataplunk, Fupa Flame. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so we got a. Um, that's is that ridiculously rare? I think that is. Yeah, it's a ridiculously rare. Um, Humongous Ancient Rockman. So, uh, Humongous Ancient Rockman or Harm, as we call him, is pretty good. Um, he's used in a lot of the Barrow decks. Um, he's a pretty good like boss monster. If you're not playing, um, like the Boulder Dragons. And it's really nice just having a creature that size that's primarily statted in defense. Uh, Zach, I feel like, has a tendency to make the bigger creatures heavy on attack or, like, kind of symmetrical on both ends. Having your bigger creatures have, um, higher defense is actually really good because those are obviously the ones that you actually want to stick around. Having, like, a four star creature with high defense is like, eh. Unless its name is De, it's just not really, not really that outstanding. Just because oh, I've got a four-star creature that swings for like one point, that's gonna stick around. Oh, back to Wrath of Cores here. So we have a core of Ether, which eh, it's a core. I already have it. It's not a uh, exactly a huge find here. Got a key. Uh, Black Magic's pretty good common. Ooh. I don't know that I had that. I don't know that I had that piece. That's 
that's kind of cool. Um, another another spoiler from the uh, the other packs is I actually um, I actually have a finished God Summon now. I don't think it was that one. In fact, I'm positive it wasn't that one. Um, so may maybe I'll have two now. Uh, rare Observatory. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't think Observatory is all that good. Yeah, it costs five. It's a little little too pricey. I could see Observatory being playable if it was kind of like really cheap and you could drop it early in the game. You know, just give you a bunch of information. I could see it then, but I don't think um, as it stands is like a five cost that it's really playable. Is that is that a wonder? Yeah, you're, you're just not... The other wonders in the game are so, 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 so good. Um, to the point that, like, I think you can build entire decks around most of them. That having an observatory is like, I didn't know it's in your hand. And I know that it's better than all the cards that I have now. Because I played an observatory. It's not really where you want to be. Um, these packs aren't working as well for me. We're, we're having to just mangle them. Oh, just mangle them. All right, so we got a ton and on and on and on. Um, it's like a, a fairly solid. Ooh, I'm actually happy about the rare orbit. That's very playable and goes into multiple decks. Um, Super Splute, Creature Conjure is okay. It's playable. Possessed Patrolman, Star Dealer very playable. Uh, another Drangel, solid. Um, Pyre Knight. I am going to point out that we have not gotten a single Pelfam so far, which makes me very, 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 very sad. Uh, Pablo, that's basically it. Can't be too, can't be too mad about it though. Can't, you know, it's it's not the Pell fam we wanted, but it's just hard to look at a Galaxy Crash and be too upset about it. Unfortunately, Galaxy Crash is already ridiculously rare, so it's not like a different looking one. Uh, and we got our our super bouncy trampoline. We have one from the other packs, um, but now now we have a a play set, so that that makes me happy. That's all I really wanted. Um, the rest of them can be the stupid phenomena, so I don't care. Um, but yeah, the Orbit is really excited about that, and I'm really excited about Galaxy Crash, obviously. A um, little bit disappointed with Galaxy Crash, just because it's still a ridiculously rare, so it doesn't look any different. I almost wish this was a really rare, but then it might be a little bit uh, a little bit too easy to locate or something, so that's understandable. You, you want to keep Galaxy Crash at ridiculously rare. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go see if I can locate those other cards now, and if I can, then we'll have like a little bit, um, at the end of this video. Okay, and we're back. Unfortunately, it does look like most of those cards have already been shuffled in, so I can't really do a, uh, like show off the rares from it or anything. Um, I went over a lot of the Chaos Galaxy cards I got already, kind of. Um, the Wrath of Cores weren't... I just don't think I got a royalty rare from those, which is kind of disappointing. But um, we did okay. Uh, we did get a few things that we were looking for the, from looking for from those, but they were like uncommons and stuff, which it it, it isn't that exciting on video. Even though I'm like, oh, I can finally you know I can finally make this deck that I've been wanting to. Um, we do, however, have two god summons now, so that's kind of cool. Um, this destroys all of our opponent's cards on the field, and this discards all of the cards in their hand. Um, three card combo, I'm not sure how I feel about them, uh, just because, like, it's a three card combo and they do absolutely nothing um, if you don't have all three. And then if you get one of them discarded and you can't complete it, then you have two dead cards in your hand or whatever. There's a lot of clunkiness associated with these, obviously. Obviously, there's very, very high gain as well. Um, I feel like I probably won't be playing these, although if I get a full playset of one, I might at some point make a deck around them. Um, just, you know, some kind of control thing with a bunch of draw power that tries to get them off. But they are kind of like a win condition in themselves, although you do have to have something else. If you nuke your opponent's entire field or you nuke your opponent's entire hand, there's a good chance you're just going to win the game from there, obviously. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I have a booster box of Wrath of Cores. Um, 
War Against the Elements Part 2 on the way. Um, so next week we'll probably be finishing up my Chaos Galaxy cards, and then the week after that um, I'll probably be opening a lot of Wrath of Cores. Uh, me and Chris have also kind of talked about getting another battle video up. Um, so that will probably happen sometime in the next few weeks, I would think. Although that is going to kind of rely on both of us being able to get together at the same time and everything. So hopefully that works out. Um, anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. And y'all have a nice day.